Hello, it's Mark from Lightmap. Let's take a look at how to blur the 3D area lights in HDR Light Studio with the new Diffusion Blur. So, there's a few steps involved. Let's, uh, so we've got this area light here, this, this round light, and let's, um, to do this, we need to turn off it being an area light, so it goes back to the HDRI map, and then we need to merge this to a composite to get this light appearance into a composite. So let's change the setting for it to a display ratio of one to one. And now when we go into the composite, we are looking at a square texture. We need to change the mapping of this light to be planar, double click to uh, center the latitude and double click to center the longitude and make the size 100% by 100%. And now this light is filling this texture space. And this is the appearance of this composite light now. What we now need to do is change the composite light to have a mapping of 3D and we'll change it to an area light and then we will dolly it in to be near our model. And then we can just rotate it so we can see it quite clearly. There we go. Let's make it a little bit further out. Excellent. So now we have the light appearance for the area light as a composite and the new diffusion blur uh, can only be applied to a composite. So with the composite selected, let's go down here to the settings and select the filter and choose diffusion. Now we can see that this light is instantly being blurred, but there's some weird stuff going on at the top and the bottom. This is because the type is set to spherical, which is meant for a HDRI map. We need to change this to planar. If we do, we get this extra setting called scale to fit. Let's turn that off. Okay, so now let's remove the blur and then increase the blur and we'll see what happens. So as this content gets more and more blurred, it's actually blurring outside of the texture space. So we get these hard edges to the blurred content. This isn't really what you would want on an area light which is why we have the setting scale to fit. If we turn this on, the light content is scaled so that the blurred version always fits inside the texture space. So if we go down to zero, you can see the light is full size. And as we start to blur, the size of the light is reduced so that it fits within the texture space. And that is how you blur an area light in HDR Light Studio Xenon Drop 2. Thanks for watching.